Hey, what is up, YouTube? This is Tony stepping in for another quick video, and thanks to the recently updated device support on the 10.2 Vialu jailbreak, I'm very excited to be here talking about the latest compatible iOS 10.2 jailbreak tweaks. Now, down in the comment section, there'll be a full list of all the tweaks I talk about in this video, as well as a few more that I don't have time to touch upon. But before we get too far ahead of ourselves, we will first and foremost need to be jailbroken to install anything I'm about to highlight. So if you have yet to jailbreak and you are on iOS 10.2, you can easily navigate to the video in the comment section, which demonstrates how to jailbreak your iDevice. So if you are familiar with the iOS 9.3.x Pangu method at jailbreaking, this should be no problem for you as it is enabled in a very similar manner. The latest release of the 10. 2 jailbreak being beta 7 currently supports all 64-bit devices aside from the iPhone 7 and 7 plus so I do have to put this warning out there really quick even though the jailbreak runs well and is very stable in its current state it is in fact still in a beta stage meaning not all older tweaks will be updated and compatible to run on iOS 10 even though certain unsupported tweaks will be able to be installed they will in most cases not run properly and will crash your device or worse so do not just install anything off of city as it could jeopardize your device's jailbreak stability and force you into a restore so only install tweaks that you know are fully compatible with iOS 10 and again otherwise as it could cause major problems. As far as along the lines of this video, the tweaks I'm about to mention solely focus around increasing the functionality of iOS 10. I will have a second part to this video coming later this week that focuses more around the tweaks that alter the appearance of iOS 10, but for this video, it's just going to focus on adding features to the current iOS. Lastly, these tweaks are in no special order as the main purpose of this video is to demonstrate and show you what is readily available to install and try on your own. Henceforth, I'll be going rather quickly to try to touch up upon as many tweaks as I can. Can. And again, this is not a complete list, but this contains tweaks that I have either used personally and or could see being significantly useful to others. All right, and wasting no time jumping into things, I feel like this is a very fitting tweak. The first one I wanted to talk about was no slow animation. And while this is not a new tweak or one that is made specifically for iOS 10, I feel like it's very nice that it's made available and compatible on day one of the jailbreak. This paired with the accessibility option to reduce motion and create these seamless snappy transitions that in my opinion have virtually no lag time. It makes it very convenient to switch apps quickly on the springboard. This next tweak I want to talk about is one of the very first ones I install whenever I jailbreak an iDevice and it's because it helps install tweaks faster. It's called Swipe for More and it is an in-app modification for Cydia. Once we come across a tweak that we want to install, we can simply swipe for more, which gives us the option to directly queue the app. And once we click on that queue button, the dialog box goes away and lets us search for another tweak that we want to install. This helps us to queue up tweaks really quickly so we can install everything at once and not have to install each tweak individually. The next app I want to talk about is CC Low Power Mode, and this is actually for iOS 10 only, and it gives us the option to disable Low Power Mode directly from the Control Center. And along the lines of Control Center, the next one I want to talk about is CC Record. Now, this actually adds a toggle to the bottom of our Control Center next to the camera and calculator apps, which lets us screen capture or screen record our device's display. The next week I want to talk about is called Toucher and essentially this acts as virtual home 8 and 9 replacement for iOS 10. This tweak, however, offers us a few more options than Virtual Home ever did. Going inside the settings pane, we can see we are not only presented with more gestures that we can perform, such as the press and the slide in, but also more actions, such as going back to the last app. Another iOS 10 specific tweak that increases the functionality of our device is called Docker. This adds an extra row of icons below our dock and allows us to access them by simply swiping up on the dock. Now when you first install this tweak, you will be presented with four plus symbols which allows you to place four more additional icons on your dock. Another useful tweak that I stumbled across is called Platter. Now this essentially adds two additional tabs to our control center, one being a Recent tab and one being a Favorites tab. The Recents tab essentially acts as a mini app switcher while the Favorites tab allows us to pin nine of our favorite apps directly to our control center. Now I was very glad this next one was still supported in iOS 10 because it's actually really useful. It's called PM Really. When you're setting alarms and you accidentally set it for PM, a dialog box will come up warning you, asking you to confirm that you set it as PM. Alright, this next app I'm going to talk about, there are essentially three versions and they all actually work on iOS 10, but my favorite UI of all three of them is Power Down. Now this tweet gives you multiple options when you hold the power button down. It lets you shut down, it lets you respring, it lets you enter safe mode, and it actually lets you reboot your entire device. 
Now the other two alternatives being power tap and repower essentially do the same thing except for the UI looks a little bit different. My favorite is power down. Another supported tweak is swipe selection and this essentially lets you swipe on the keyboard to move the cursor in order to edit text more accurately. Now this works system wide across all keyboards. Another tweak that I was glad to see was supported on iOS 10 is called App Admin and this simply gives you more options when installing apps such as downgrading to an older version. Now this is helpful when apps come out with updates that break current jailbreak tweaks for them such as Snapchat. And while this next week could have a video of its own explaining how to use it and all of its features, I just figured I would throw it in there saying that Phantom Light for Snapchat is supported currently on iOS 10. The last tweak I want to talk about is called iCleaner Pro and this essentially clears out old cache files and deletes old message attachments to not only free up space but make your phone faster as well. Well guys, that just about wraps up this top tweaks video. Those are about all the tweaks I can think of that add more functionality to iOS 10. Again, thank you guys so much for the support. I really appreciate it. If you like this video, please leave a comment down in the comments section. Also, let me know if there's any other cool tweaks that you guys found on your own or which ones you guys like the best. Stay tuned for next time when I talk about tweaks that modify the appearance of iOS 10 and make it very customizable. And until next time, this is Tony, signing out.